Hello everybody, Gamer Penny here bringing you another episode of our Secret World Legends Let's Play. And we are back with Ellie and we're going to be continue on, continuing on with Henry Hawthorne's next investigation quest. I am going to let you guys know that I already have the guide pulled up to me. <laughs> I've read through the guide. It's, today, it's on my next monitor right to my left. So we are going to be using a guide for this one because I know this quest and it is... A little bit of a difficult one. Uh, so let's go ahead and do it. It's called Digging Deeper. This one was added later. Ah, there's a glint to your eyes that I recognize from the bathroom mirror. What? You've walked the Kingsmith's <laughs> secret trails, yes? What was it like? Was it illuminating? Were you enlightened? If it weren't for circumstance and my duty to the Lord, I would join you, document your expedition. Although, those are not the only paths. Some run deeper, more hidden. Tap your foot on any paving stone down Main Street, and you might hear the echo of Illuminati history. Hmm. Oh yes, Solomon Priest and Isaac Fletcher put this soil to work when they raised Kingsmouth above and below. Why, the whole of Solomon County is positively riddled with tunnels. But I wouldn't expect most people to notice. They're too enclosed by their simple lives to comprehend the secret world around them. Title drop. Below them. You can't stop now. I know that feeling intimately. The desire to keep digging. That glint won't fade. The restlessness in your heart won't slow. The voices won't fall silent. Dig further. Dig deeper. Always deeper. Creepy. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. So this is, like I was saying, this quest was added after the release of the game. So uh, it was in the secret world, but it's one of the fairly newer ones. So it's an investigation mission and it's a little bit difficult, but we can actually um, figure this one out. I have no idea. It says, find the entrance to the Illuminati tunnels. I have no idea how you would know to go here. Um, even the guides just, the guide says there's hints, but basically just go, go here. <laughs> they don't even say how they figured it out. So you come down here to basically back to the um, town hall. And as you're running up and he said, you know, tap your foot and everything. You see, oh, there's some loose pavement here. So if you click this loose pavement, there's a, a, a tunnel. Um, do we have? So we see that there's actually a key in there. So Clavis, Aurea, find the key. Um, and basically, if you think of key, you think of, well, maybe someone has like a key to the city or something. And I, again, I don't know how you would know that this was up here unless you were up here exploring. And the one thing I do remember from playing this through the first time is we came up here for something entirely different for this thing that we're going to do later. Um, but I did explore all these rooms and I remember seeing, hey, there's a giant key on the wall um, up here. So I remembered that this key was up here before. But if you're just doing the quest the way I did, you wouldn't know that this was up here. So we're going to go ahead, take the key to Kingsmith. And that is going to be used to enter the tunnels. Uh, so let's go put that key into the lock that was out front. We'll go down into the tunnels. And this is one of the more challenging investigation quests that they, there is here. Um, because this is the one where I said, you know, you need to have music. You need to read be able to read sheet music and stuff like that and figure out all that stuff um this one they definitely thought outside the box with this quest i guess is how i'll say it i don't know how anyone figures it out and some people might really really like having those very very challenging puzzles um i i do not so when you come down here and again i read the guide so i know a little bit more it says to go to the first T intersection. So I always got confused and went down that one. But you run back here to the wall. And you turn to the left. And there's a book on the ground. And you need to inspect the book. It basically says, A man who seeks enlightenment shall himself 
shall set himself in motion. He shall show appreciation for the expressions of his fellows and make as a church-going man does before holy symbols. He shall show great disdain for the trappings of old empire and avert his gaze from schemes coiled and chaotic. Um, what you can gather from that, <laughs> somehow, is you come back here, and you go to the very left. If you're coming out the entrance, so we're facing this way, you go down this left tunnel. And as you go down this left tunnel, uh, you come around and you should find, if I do this right. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I hope this is the right way. But you should find a, yep, right here. So there's these symbols similar to what we looked at and what we can press. So if we read it, it says Oculus Rara Avis. And they changed the spelling of it. <laughs> the guide even said it's misspelled in here, but they they updated it. Good job, Funcom. So what this translates into is basically, um, I'm looking at the guide because I want to tell you guys this. I and rare bird. So when we're looking at this, we've got, you know, we don't know what these symbols are just looking at the things, but because we did that quest before, we do know that this is the eye and the pyramid, or eye and the triangle for Illuminati. This is a pyramid, this is a phoenix, and this is kind of like a um, architect type thing. So we're gonna do eye and a phoenix. Okay, that opens the door. So we would come in here. We're going to look in Solomon Priest's coffin. And it says to pick up, uh, let's take the faded page. So a confession. Penned in the year, in the year under the eye, 1702, Kingsmith Town. One might consider this an admission in two to two acts of cowardice and also of bad faith within the enlightened order and as such i shall see to it that this missive once written is requested with my own corpse or is sequestered sorry with my own corpse it's hard to read the text <laughs> my time on this earth runs short and much is left to be undertaken by this i mean the order and by our third but more on that a piece the remains of Solomon Priest were moved at my instruction by loyal men who fashioned for him a new rest within the tunnels. On this matter, I declare my reasoning was to pre prevent our enemies and consorts alike from digging too deeply. The trial to the new tomb shall die with my, or the trail to the new tomb shall die with my retainers and myself. And so too shall die any looter or gawker seeking to negotiate its traps, should they not hold enlightened knowledge. All right. So we're going to take this mosaic artifact. Um, and it said to ignore the lever. I don't actually know what the lever does. But I don't want to mess it up. So <laughs> we're going to ignore the lever. And we're going to go back to the beginning, basically. Um, which is out this way, I think. Back to the beginning. And this time we're going to go straight across over here. So we see that there's another door over here. Um, and we can look at the plaque above this. So the same symbols. So if we look at the plaque of Khufu of the Grand Lodge. Uh, I have no idea what that means, but basically it says, you did the other two on the other door, do the other two on this door. So we're gonna do the pyramid and we're gonna do the mosaic symbol. Okay, so it opens up this tomb. Oh, that's really cool. I don't think I've noticed that before. <laughs> that up there. So when we come out here, is this the one where... No. We're just kind of in a, in a library. Um, here's something here. So you can look at this. To proceed right as a learned man would, look to Jerome's work on the two score and first psalm, the eighth part, the first darkness so using my guide <laughs> not figuring out for myself but using my guide um we find out that a mathematical score equals 20 two scores therefore is 40 two score and first means 41st 
Ergo, we are looking for the 41st Psalm as described by one Jerome. The Jerome in question is St. Jerome, who transcribed the Bible into Latin. A psalm is divided in two parts, the transition from one part to another being indicated by a shift in tone. Most online psalms also indicate where a line starts. The first word for part 8 in the 40, 41st Psalm by Jerome is abyssus. <laughs> How you would ever figure that out, I don't know. People must have spent hours, which is, you know, what the purpose of these investigation quests are. They're not meant to be solved or done like a normal MMO quest. These are very unique to Secret World. So we have to spell abyssus going through here. And it is A-B-Y-S-S-U-S. -S -S. So you come here, A, B, Y. We come to S. There's no other S, right? jump U S so we solved it <laughs> that's how you get through that puzzle all right now we're into another place um, can I get through here no okay here here's the music part of it so we inspect this note a lost note should thy desires be thwarted weep not for thyself but for Delandi um, this one is, the clues are designed to point you in the direction of the song in question so that you can identify the blacked out notes. The song is called Flow My Tears by John Doland. For those who don't know how to read music, make this as easy as possible. It's basically A-E-E-G-G. -G. So, um, if we look up here at this note, sheet music, there's actually a piece of sheet music on the wall. And we can see how you would know what song this is. You'd have to, like, look it up. You'd have to be able to read music, right? <laughs> so it does tell you you got to fill in what this blacked out part is. And it you need the notes A-E-E-G-G. -G, but you also have to know, like, is it a um, whole note, half note, um, whole dotted note? So I have the solution, and that's why I keep... My voice probably keeps going quieter because I'm looking to the left on my monitor. We need to go A plus the second lever. So you'll see that um, these are all things up here. So we're going to mark A and the second lever. Did that do it? Now do I do A? Okay, we did A, and then put this lever down, and we do the first lever, and we have to do E. And then we have to do this down and do the third lever, and do E, and two Gs, it looks like. Sounds like we got it. Yep. Now you get the nice little tune. <laughs> do, 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 do. Um, that's where we came from. This is where we're going. And in here, we have to do some emotes. And I don't know, you can perform, oh, you, I mean, you get the tone. You can perform an emote by typing slash emote and then pressing tab to view the list of emotes. Okay, um, is there a piece of paper we can inspect to know what to do? Or it might have been what we found earlier. So let me real quick um, look at the guide again. Yep, remember that book you found earlier? So um, it says basically he shall show appreciation um, for the exertions of his fellows. Make as a church-going man does before holy symbols. He, stall, he shall show great disdain for the trappings of old empire and avert his gaze from the schemes coiled um, and chaotic. So what we're going to have to do is we are going to have to... The disc is throwing. We have to applaud in front of. So let's do slash applaud. And it lights up so you know you did it right. Um... The angel statue. 
we have to do slash pray. Okay. The soldier statue, which I hate doing this, but the soldier statue, we have to do slash spit. Oh, <laughs> awful. And for the snake, we have to do slash cover eyes. Okay. And that opens this door, which I think is the final one. So we're on five of six, so it says open the tomb of Solomon Priest. But let's look at here. All right, to the second part then, the reason for this deception is that I didn't take the man's life. All true, I did poison him as the rumors have long circulated and likely shall continue. For truly it was less an act of murder as of martyring, and though I assumed his duties, I performed them with hollow ritual. And as his name is remembered, mine remains in his considerable shadow. In the one score of years since my fateful act, I have come to accept this was always my rightful place, and in seeking to unseat him, I did only seal it so forevermore. The third knew of my treachery, of this I am certain, even though I remained in London, now finally, as I breathe my last, he comes to America with designs for an order in New York. Um, so Isaac Fletcher killed Solomon Priest poisoned him um okay so that was digging deeper all we have to do is run outside and it should finish up <laughs> so again guys there's no way i hope you don't mind that i used a guide for this or for any other investigation quest but honestly these are some of the hardest quests and i don't want to spend three or four hours trying to google fruitlessly in a video for you guys. <laughs> I think it would be boring to watch my thought process because I might not figure it out. I'm not good at that stuff. Um, following a guide, I sure can uh, I sure can do pretty well. <laughs> so hopefully you don't mind, but that, that is how we're gonna get through those quests. Um, and I, I will put a link to the guide that I'm actually using. It is unfair. Um, <laughs> the guide is called unfair. It's, a, it's an unfair website. So we, we will put the guide in the description if I, if I remember. If you don't remember, just comment and I'll, I'll remember to add it in uh, afterwards. But this should finish up the Digging Deeper quest. And then we can go to Madame Roger and see what quest she has for us. There we go. We finished it. Um, let's see what they have to say. In the early days of Kingsmith, Solomon Priest managed to become a very significant figure within Illuminati circles kind of rallying person, a bridge between the old and new. If we had had proof of this betrayal back then, it might have served to destabilize and divide their ranks. Today, treachery like this has become rather par for their course. We will of course use this information during the mudslinging portion of the next council meeting. However, knowing the Illuminati, they are as likely to take pride in Fletcher's deception as be embarrassed by it. Okay, and I think this is, we probably already have the vanity item for this too, so nothing's probably gonna pop up. Um. Unless, like, does it show anything that we might have gotten new? I don't think so. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and open this. And again, we're going to save all that for the end of this. But now, let's go find Madame Roger. And we'll take a look at our map. Make sure we still, we still have a couple of side quests down here. We'll stop with Madame Roger, and then I think we'll check in on Norma Creed, because it does show that she has another quest for us. So we'll go over here. And you guys, I think, will like Madame Roger. She's one of my one of my favorite characters again, too. Um, I do have an all-time favorite character in the game. We haven't met him yet. We will in, not this zone, but the next zone. And if you have already played the game, you might already know, that might tell you who it is, because he's a lot of people's favorite character. He's just kind of, like, I want to know more about him. <laughs> okay. Here comes, I would watch, basically I would watch a TV show about him. <laughs> that's what that's what I'm saying. Funcom, uh, if you're doing TV, please do a TV show about him. Okay. Madame Roger. Uh, what investigation? Oh, I remember her investigation question. That's one we may not have to use. I might remember just where to go for that one, so... 
let's talk to her. She got to do the Raven. This, one of the coolest quests that's in the game. Um, so uh, I won't spoil it for you guys. So we'll just see what she has to say. I sense, I sense an alien presence. The fog obscures a terrible truth concealed behind a veil of, sorry, old habits. <laughs> Hey, just so you know, I don't do readings anymore. I've been outside. You don't need second sight to foretell our future. We're all doomed. It's not like I'm gonna need the money. Hmm. <sighs> it's strange, but it's the dreams that really get to me, not reality. I can handle reality, but those nightmares just... It's like a really annoying song that gets stuck in your head repeating over and over and over again. Like George Michael's Faith. You're welcome, everyone. Are always about for ravens. singing. <laughs> Thousands God of ravens. Faith, the faith, the faith, the faith, the faith. <laughs> Flapping wings. Black feathers. Dead eyes. Beaks and talons tearing and clawing and screeching. Wings of death and pestilence. A black timeless malice covering Kingsmouth like a funeral shroud you get the idea yeah I don't know what any of it means but it's doing a number on my beauty sleep I can tell you that <laughs> all I can think about when we talk to her is uh the doctor's report <laughs> that said she has a doctor patient love fetish so all right let's head out here we got to search for some ravens which if we come out here we say that bird wasn't here before let's get it and he flies off. And you have to follow it. And you will notice that it's timed. Just run in the direction that the ravens are going is basically all you need to do. See, there's... Oh, there's two more ravens right here. And they're flying off this way. So we follow them. Yikes, what happened to that bike? Um, and then we can see... Oh, there's circling ravens. Tons of them. And the bunch on the ground right here. So let's go get these guys. They all flew off in different- Oh, jeez! <laughs> all flew off in different directions. And a revenant showed up. Okay, collect the revenant feather. And look for some more ravens. Um, I th think I saw one up here. Oh, yep, bunch of them right over here. Okay, and they're going off this way, so we'll run up here. There's, they're getting even more and more of them over here, like Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. It, let me ask you guys this. I thought it was really weird now that I thought, think back on it, but we watched Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds in middle school. Like, it was thing, something that we watched a couple, it took a couple of classes to get through it. And I don't understand why we watched it. Maybe it's just because it was part of, you know, culture that they wanted to show us that that movie where is he i don't i don't know i really i really don't know why we would watch that in school in middle school of all things okay look for some more ravens i think there are some down here i'm trying to remember what even class we watched it in. it might have been history which i i guess that would make sense if you're watching it in a history class and you're like learning about American history. It's a big part of American culture, Alfred Hitchcock and the horror genre and stuff, but I don't know, I just thought it was weird. Alright, tons of ravens here and they're still running this way. And I am trying to be more alert of my map and uh, any rare spawns. Like him, we already got him, Mr. Freeze. Um, and I still have not gone back for the faithful husband yet either. Alright, get his feather here. And search for more ravens and it looks like I'm looking also at the circle to know where to look for more ravens and I've done this a, a million times this quest they keep getting more and more which that's new I think they keep multiplying every time you find more ravens sticks and stones chase away ten flocks of ravens huh. get a little laggy all right, and they ran over here, and I told you we'd come back to this puddle. And now, it is Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds all around here. So find a way to call the Revenant. Um, let's look at this note. 
we can see a symbol is drawn on there and we need to do east north south northwest southwest so north south east northwest southwest okay hello can you go get out of here um he put one here so if we look at our map i think that is Is that north this way? Mm. How can I tell? <laughs> Is my map show north? Is that north up here? North point. Okay, it says right on the point. North. No. East. south oh god <laughs> and the other ones were already placed then he must have placed the other one so here we go we're taking on the bound revenant shouldn't be a problem we're a bit over leveled for him there we go that's one of the for some reason i love that quest that that might be my favorite quest uh, in the whole game, that one, for some reason. So, tis not the wind, I'm afraid. The Revenant is an old enemy of ours, a creature that smells death and foretells further misery. We have received similar reports to this in the past. One Miss Rose White had an encounter much like yours. How this creature is tied to the park in Kingsmith is another thing entirely, and something we should look to look into in the future. If there is a way to use this information to our benefit, we will certainly find it. No, is that a level 16 all right we got a, a belt out of it so i don't know why i like that quest so much i just i just really do um all right we could do madame roger's investigation quest next we probably have time 12 minutes we'll be all right doing that one 12 minutes until the uh episode is over timing myself <laughs> so let's go back to madame roger We'll do her investigation quest. Again, I don't think... Unless they've changed it. I don't think I'm going to need the guide for this one. Because I remember where to go. I remember... Oh, does that person have a motorcycle? Hi, look at my motorcycle. Where'd he go? <laughs> Disappeared. Alright, fine. I was going to show off my motorcycle to you. But if you don't want to see it... All you got to say is... I don't want to see your motorcycle. You don't got to just up and disappear. Is this the right? No. One more street over. Alright. This one, this quest is kind of cool as well. Um, and there's another quest that I think might be Norma's quest that I really enjoy. I, ju I just like all the quests, basically. This has some of the best questing, the best storylines. That's why I love this game. It's one of my favorite MMOs because not the combat, not the dungeons, not just typical MMO stuff. It's the stories that are inside of it that I love. Stories and the writing. So, um, are you dead? <laughs> let's, let's talk to her. The vision. Let's see what she has to say. It was always about deception. The crystal ball, the gypsy clothes, the fake accent. Cheap props to make the fortune cookies easier to swallow. <laughs> My customers, they bought into it because they wanted to. If there's no free will, if it's all about fate, life is a whole lot simpler. We can just say, hey, it was meant to be, and get on with it. That's the key to fortune telling. That's why people fall for it. We're all prisoners of our search for a higher meaning. It's all about mutual deception. I never believed I was telling people anything they didn't already know. There's fireworks outside. Until now. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't I know if you can hear them, but they're going crazy dreams. right now. Visions. I see auras. Auras. <laughs> Yours, by the way, is bright enough to blind me. I see through the eyes of others. I can even see into the future, for real. The paths of fate, clear as day. It's almost like, like I've become who I've pretended to be all these years. Or maybe I'm just going crazy. I could be going crazy. I wouldn't blame myself if I was going, ugh. Great. Here we go again. Uh, uh oh, she's having a vision. I'm having another vision. They come and go like headaches. I can't really control them. Quick, before it passes. Uh, I don't. 
really want to. <laughs> I see your twin paths. One leads to salvation, the other to defeat. I see black tendrils rising to embrace you. Voices whispering in your ear. Corruption from within and from without. Something rising from the bottomless deep to devour us all. To turn day into night. Sorry. I see something else. Our paths intertwine, converge, and at the end of it, exodus. Inescapable, permanent, faded. That's not foreboding. On the tip of the pyramid, your path shall be revealed. Mm. That's as good as it's gonna get. Make of it what you will. Sometimes I get more visions, like the aftershocks of an earthquake. If that happens, I'll let you know. You won't even have to pay my usual fee. Let's call it a freebie, sweetie. Okay. So her, that clue that she gave us was on the tip of the pyramid, your path will be revealed. So um, if I remember right, pyramid point. <laughs> See? Um, tip of the pyramid. So down here, you're thinking, okay, a tip of the pyramid. Do I have to go to Egypt? I know that's in the game. Where do I go? But this is actually called Pyramid Point. So we're going to run down here. Um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and hop on our motor motorcycle to do that because it's going to take a little bit. So, boom, boom. <laughs> I love it. We're going to speed, use the speed boost just a little bit. Get down to that point down there, and we'll see what our path to be revealed will be. They're going to town on that dead body over there. Alright, and I wish you could pick up more than one um, story quest at a time, because I would stop and get Norma's as well. I don't even know... Let me, I just want to see what it, the quest is, if it's an investigation or what, if it's what I think it is, because there's one that we haven't done. Yeah, it's an investigation, and I, I think I know what one that is. And if that, if that's the one that it is, it's another awesome Special one. Assignment received. No, we've already done this. I just want to go to the tip of this island down here. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Is it going to go away if we go far enough away? We're leaving the mission area. We will fail the mission? I mean, I'm fine with that because I don't want to do it right now. Oh, God, Ellie, be careful. <laughs> Additional assignment received. Oh. Initializing. We've already done this one, too. I don't want to do this one, either. Hello. Can we get to the tip of the pyramid? I might have to kill some people once we get down here. So let's... Let's real quick do that. Kill all the ones that we pulled. Shouldn't be too hard. There we go. Because I think as soon as we run over here... Was it over here or... <laughs> Did I lead us astray? Maybe it's out here? There we go. Okay, tip of the pyramid. I had another vision. Shadows. Long shadows. From the old boughs of the fairy forest. The flickering lights of the foolish fire guiding your path. Come, come, they beckon. Does this make any sense to you? Okay. So, we kind of know where to go with this one, too. And if you guys remember, a while ago, we were running around, and there was this big old tree with a bunch of wisps around it in here in Wispwood. So, we're going to head over there, because it's boughs of an old tree. Um, it is... What am I looking for? X here. Boughs of an old tree. It's fairy fire, and those wisps are what she's talking about, basically. So, um, again, if you hadn't gone over there and done it i don't know how you would go know to go there maybe as you're running around trying to find the location you'll run by it and you'll just be like this looks kind of like what she's talking about but um 
This one, I actually was able to figure out most of this quest on my own. What's in there? Do I know what's in there? I think so. I think we actually come back for that. We should have checked it out, but I want to get this one done first. Okay, I don't want all these special assignments. Get out of here. Alright, let's go to the Wispwood. Find those fairy lights and see if she will call us again. And tell us where to go. Um, where's that big tree? Over there. Where something's happening with that person. So that's the old the old tree that she was talking about. These wisps we killed earlier for this quest that popped up. Okay, there she goes. Guess what? More visions. This time there's bees. Incessant <laughs> buzzing of bees. And flowers. Flowers blooming out of season. To mark the path ahead. This one should be pretty easy. So it was bees, flowers, flowers blooming out of season to mark the path of head. And if you know anything about Secret World, bees are always where Agartha is, right? So Agartha is down here, the Agartha entrance. Let's head down there. That's where we came out. We know that we came out of a tree. There was a bunch of flowers. Um, and the path, obviously, is the paths of Agartha. So we're going to head over there. Uh, we could just actually teleport. Yes. <laughs> Do a little bit easier. So we'll just teleport to Agartha. Yep, here we go. They keep coming. The visions, it's exhausting. Now I see an angel guarding hollowed ground. Sword in hand to ward off evil and to guide the way. So an angel guarding hollowed ground. You know hollowed ground, um, is basically graveyards and, and stuff like that. We do know where there is a graveyard here. Um, and if you guys remember when we picked up the veteran Veterans Day side quest, it was actually right behind the church. So let's actually go here. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Yes, I would like to go there. We're gonna go to the church and there was that angel statue and she did have a sword in her hand. So we're gonna go back to this angel statue um, behind the church oh, over here. Hopefully she'll call us again. Where's the angel statue? Right here in the middle. Here we go. So this should be this. Yep. Okay, so that's not at all what I meant to do. <laughs> Just blasting away. So we're looking for gallows. And this one, I will admit, the first time I did it was a little bit confusing. I didn't know quite where to go, but I did figure it out eventually. I think I might have found it by dumb luck at first. But once I found it, I knew we were in the right place before I got the, um, the mission to pop up. And what we're looking for... Are these guys still following us? The music when we pull and go into combat is intense. Um, we're actually looking for a bridge. Um, we've got Langmore Bridge and we've got Solomon Bridge. But we're going to go up to Langmore Bridge. I believe. Yeah. I think this is the right one. And there should be a plaque. <laughs> A plaque on the bridge that we can read that's going to basically tell us we're in the right right place I believe um, so let's jump over here unless they removed the plaque no I, s I see it kind of right here so we're gonna read this 
use the plaque, and we're just going to read it a little bit. And Langmore Bridge, dedicated to the works of Kingsmouth Mayor John Langmore and to law, justice, and reparation. May the unquiet dead of the hangman's span, except the lot passed to them in this life, proceed to the next without sin. So hangman's span is, is what it was. I don't know if that's on the map. Hangman span. No, it's just basically this bridge. Um, so we're gonna head down here. Additional assignment received. Initializing. Defeat. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Cross the bridge. Oi. Okay, Hangman Spectre. So we just gotta kill this guy, and this should put Madame Roger uh, at ease. It should end her nightmares and everything. All right, that was that quest. Perfect timing, too. So, this appears to have been a wild goose chase, I'm sorry to say. Granted, one restless slow soul sent back to the other side, but certainly not worth the time invested. This nonsense about Exodus is probably just the vivid imagination of a woman touched by flawed second sight. An anomaly, nothing more. We can file this one under case closed. In your defense, no stone must be left unturned. Seek, and you shall find, they say. It holds true most of the time. Richard... For this one, I disagree with you. I think this was a good one to go on. And we probably already had that vanity item. So let's open this. And we'll go ahead and end the episode by um, doing some upgrading here. So let's upgrade y'all. Yeah. Let's upgrade... Oh, oh, no, no, no. You... And one more. Perfect. Okay, we did some upgrading. And what was the other thing that I wanted to do at the end of this episode? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember what I had. I said I wanted to do one thing and then an, I was going to do another thing real quick. But I can't quite remember what it was. <laughs> Alright, but let's take a look and see what we're going to do next episode. Next episode, I think we are going to go ahead and um, we're going to backtrack all the way down here to Normal Creed. We're going to come get this box of flares here. Um, and that should take care of pretty much the lower half except for this. Black Gravestone. I don't know if I've ever seen that one before. So we'll have to... Maybe... Maybe we'll run up there next episode and grab that one too. Um, oh, I remembered. I remember what we're going to do. This. <laughs> we're going to spend some more points. So I'm trying to get what we do at the end of every, every episode kind of on the same page. So let's get this evade rating and finish that whole line out. Are we being... Oh. <laughs> Hello, friend. Um, so we finished that out. We're down to five of those. And then we've got active points that we can spend. We could get Raging Shot or let's look at Pistols. We could start down another line of this. Is there anyone that we want to go for that we would actually use? Bullet Hell. You share your bullets from one target to another for six seconds. Your target and nearby enemies are dealt an additional 18 physical damage whenever you deal damage with pistol abilities. Um, and this is at the end of it. Capstone. Permanently gain the following. From other weapons. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Um, well, let's get the shotgun one so we get that permanent one before we go down the pistol one. So let's go ahead and get this. And we have 13 more. Can I get another one? No. I could get this. Let's do that. Perfect. Alright, so we got some more skills. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with our skills, how they are now. Look at that giant guy down there. Uh, so I'm not going to be playing around and moving them out until we get a little bit further along uh, with all of this. So we're going to go ahead and end the episode there. We ran over just a little bit, kind of trying to do that cleanup at the end there. But um, 
guys, thank you so much for the continued support of the Secret World Legends Let's Play on the channel. If you do want to see more of it, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Alright, bye-bye everyone.